All right, guys, it is your boy Tiku. You can already see this one's gonna be a little different. We are out and about in the city of Houston trying to find ourselves some authentic Hakata style ramen, you see, because after living in Japan, you know, it kind of screwed me up a little bit because it definitely ruined a lot of ramen for me, you know, because before going to Japan, if you're just eating ramen around here in America, right, any ramen that they say is really good or one of those pricier ramens, you're gonna think tastes pretty good, right? But after you go to Japan and you have authentic ramen, it definitely kills a lot of the ramen here for me, for me anyways. So I'm really into this Hakata style ramen stuff that is um, characteristically thin and tougher noodles, but the broth is very strong. So I've been looking for that all over the place. And I've already gone to a couple of places. They failed me miserably. So this place called Tiger Den in Houston boasts to have some pretty authentic Hakata style ramen. So we're gonna go see what it's like with mi hermano Carlos. Yeah, they have that, you see that in the back of the Oh, yeah, yeah, with the blue, with the blue. Like Eddie's restaurant has that? Yeah. And it's just a bit American, honestly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so that was freaking awkward. I just, I, I ordered, a, I said tonkotsu ramen and he was like, what? Uh, you, uh, two tacos? <laughs> <laughs> two tonkos? Whoa. Hi, uh, this is Andrew P. Critiquing. I'm Carlos. I uh, don't like to be adventurous, but I'm still going to critique it. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos's favorites include uh, hamburgers. Uh, hamburgers, french fries, uh, uh, pizza, and repeat. <laughs> <laughs> you burn your mouth out for help, right? That shiz is. Ooh. Show me the goods. I can taste the piggy. Show me. <laughs> Come on it's now. A, it's a modern camera. You don't have to. <laughs> Take a look at the goods. Oh, oh. Naruto would have been like, oh shit. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's take a look, shall we? Let's get a look at the glisten. Oh yeah. Where are, the, where are the nudes at? Send me the nudes. Show me the nudes. Oh, hello. You gotta pay for this, bro. Oh. What are we expecting? What are we expecting here? Not sure. But let's find out. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Wait. What do you think, dude? Um. Y'all ever had Maruchan? <laughs> <laughs> they run for like 50 cents a piece. <laughs> a lot of college students are on. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, now on the real though. It's proper. It's proper tonku. <laughs> Honestly, guys, these noodles, these nudes right here, you know, that these nudes they sent me, all right, kind of worth a lot of money. I have to pay a lot for these nudes, all right? But these, you know, I've been to a lot of ramen places so far in Texas, right, looking for the ones that resemble Japanese ramen. All the ones that say Hakata style, BS. These ones? No, this, like, this shit tastes like... Yeah, like this, these noodles are the closest, if not actually just Hakata noodles. Like, they're actually, like, tough. It's not too chewy. Mm -hmm. um, it actually holds the flavor of the, the broth, which is a big complaint of mine, you know? But the biggest thing is, like, it actually feels like a Hakata-style noodle. It's, like, it's like kind of hard. It's thin. It's actually pretty freaking good. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is actually pretty good. This is the most legit one I've been to so far. Shoot. Even though the guy didn't know what I what I said when I said tonkotsu, he was like, what's a ton tonkatsu? Tonka. <laughs> Whoa, wait, 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 wait. What do we have here? Oh. Let's take a look at that, Carlos. What's that? What do you see there? You want to go to the restroom early? That's <laughs> your one-way ticket. <laughs> Getting a little low on the noodles, but you can order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can I actually order something? Can I get a one Kayadama? Okay. Yeah, so, you know, I had to make it a little understandable. You gotta really enunciate 
each syllable. Can I get one kai e dama so they understand? Just feel one. Just one. One cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what you think about that pig, man? Falls off the fat. <laughs> This pig, oh, this pig watched anime. This pig watched anime. What does that mean? Come on, man. You think bacon ends up in, in ramen? <laughs> no. No. It's pretty crazy, though, because, like, oh, typically, you know, you know, typically, like, when they put the, the, the pork in there, right, it's, like, all colored and looks like charred and everything, right? This looks pretty plain, you know? This looks like I was saying before my battery just so rudely died on me. Even though this looks like very plain and no flavor, it actually has quite a bit of flavor. Especially this like fatty part. Dude, the fatty part actually tastes good, Carlos. Normally I hate it, but uh, mm -mm -mm. Oh, what do you think about the bamboo? Bamboo? Pandas wish they had it. <laughs> I don't know how much you pay for your nudes, Carlos, but I got, I got some I get for free, dude. You get this for free? Dude, I had to pay two fifty for these nudes. Oh, it's burning my hand. Yikes. <laughs> Demonstration. Oh, that's pretty big, huh? That's pretty big, dude. Get those angles. Bigger than your head. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, guys, so that was Tiger Den in a nutshell. And if I had to talk about, if I had to rate it, I definitely say on a, on a five scale, right? On a five scale, I say, I say it's a four out of five. Why? Because the noodles here are very legit. That's the, like one of the hardest things for American places to get is they can't, they can't seem to get the right noodle consistency when they boast to have Hakata style ramen noodles. You know, it's just like that chewy, instant bite, no, no resistance at all kind of noodles. I'm not really into that. And that's not even what Hakata style ramen is supposed to be like, right? And then another issue that I have with American style ramen is that, uh, or they call it Japanese ramen, but it's Americanized, you know what I mean? Is that the ramen and the broth, they don't work as one thing together. That really, that really, that really irks me, you know? Like the whole point of the ramen is these noodles and the broth, when you put it in your mouth, it doesn't feel like two separate things. But in America, a lot of the ramens, that, you know, even if the broth is so good, you know, and they work really hard on the broth, yeah, it's good. But it doesn't combine with the noodles. Like you can definitely taste, here's a noodle and here's the broth. Whereas Japanese noodles, it's when you put it in your mouth, it's just one thing. It tastes like almost just like the noodles have uh, the noodles are uh, they soak up the flavor of the broth you know this place tiger den it was pretty good about that the broth was pretty strong but my one complaint is that why it's getting a four out of five is because when you get that second when you get the uh kaidama the extra noodles right that i ordered it should come with a little something normally they have some kind of like sauce or something that you put inside the broth because that's gonna make the flavor really stick to the noodles there was none of that right so when i put the second the kaidama into the noodles, uh, into the broth, and I had it, the flavor didn't stick nearly as much as the first time when they get to prepare it behind the kitchen. Um, also, you know, the flavor was good, the flavor was definitely good, but it's not quite there. And the noodles, the noodles, they're also good, but it's just a little, a little under maybe what authentic Japanese Hakata style ramen is. But nonetheless, this is one of the better places I've been to in Houston for ramen. I've been to a couple other places that, oh, whose names uh, shall not be named right now because they were just absolutely terrible. But Tiger Den is definitely one of the better ones. So if you're in the Houston area and you're trying to find some authentic Hakata style tonkotsu ramen, definitely check out... Uh, oh, by the way, that's another thing I gotta knock them for it. Please have your employees able to understand the menu. When I say tonkotsu ramen, they're like, what? Oh man, okay, anyways, anyways. Anyways, yeah, if you definitely want to try some more of the authentic style, um, Hakata Ramen, Hakata Tonkotsu Ramen, try out Tiger Den in Houston. That's gonna wrap this video up, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!